Hi, this is Jaume Planella from Noel Alimentaria and we're here today to show to you in the easiest way how to cut and prepare a serrano ham from Noel. I have with me Noel Serrano Ham, an amazing product, one of the most uh, iconic products from the Spanish gastronomy and full of the Noel family heritage. This product has been made with a very short list of ingredients. Is just ham and salt, sea salt. Ham from the best farms of Spain and sea salt from the Mediterranean Sea. Also, the product has been treated very gently and has been mature for more than 12 months. So, let's go and enjoy it. The product you have just purchased includes a vacuum packed Consortio Noel Serrano cured ham a box with all the pieces necessary to assemble to the stand, a ham knife, instructions on how to assemble the stand, and also tips on how to cut the ham. The first step is to unpack and identify all the pieces to assemble to the ham stand. Everything necessary for its assembly is in the box. Firstly, screw the large baseboard to the ham holder, making sure the holes line up. Tighten the screws using the Allen key included in the same packet. Next, attach the metal pieces that hold the ham. The round piece fits into the ham holder that you have just screwed on, so that the circular part is pointing upwards. Fix it in place with the nut and use the Allen key to secure it. The largest screw goes into the hole at the top of this piece. Note, do not screw it fully tight yet, as the ham leg needs to be placed in here, so only turn it a few times, but sufficient so that the screw holds itself upright. The other metal rest goes on the baseboard, held in place by a screw with a sharp point that will hold the ham in place. Once the stand is assembled, use the knife to cut the plastic that the ham is wrapped in and remove it. All the packaging, both the plastic and the box the pieces came in, can be recycled. Now, fix the ham on the base you have just assembled so that the thicker, rounder part is facing upwards. Once in position, tighten the large screw so that the ham is fully secured to the base. The ham has four clearly differentiated parts that will be cut. Cushion, fore cushion, rump, shank. The bones are the hip bone, the femur, the tibia, and the fibula. Begin by cutting the ham in the maza area. Firstly, it is necessary to remove the skin and layer of yellowish surface fat. Keep several long strips of this skin to use to protect the ham when it is being stored. We recommend that you leave around 5 millimeters of the fat layer to be able to appreciate the full flavor of the lean muscle and the fat in each slice. Cutting should be done in a straight line in order to achieve flat slices of around 2 centimeters. Continue cutting slices of this size until you have the desired amount, always trying to keep the ham cut in a straight line, not curved. To better conserve the ham if you are not consuming it for any period of time, lay the trimmed layers of fat and skin over the exposed part of the ham and protect it with a cloth. The ham should be stored in a cool, dry place. Even though the ham is protected, after a few hours or days you may see that a mold has formed on the surface. This is a normal process that occurs when the meat is in contact with air moisture. Simply cut off the first slice and discard. When you reach the shin and the calf bone, make a deep cut towards the bone like a step in order to keep the line of cut totally straight. When near the hip bone, cut around it to detach the meat. As you continue cutting, the bone will be gradually exposed. 
The step operation can be done twice, as shown in the images, continuing to cut thin, straight slices. When you reach more or less the middle, rotate the ham so that the area of the contramaza is upwards. To do this, loosen the screw that holds it, turn it, and tighten the screw once again. Then continue with the same process that you did in the maza area, beginning by removing the skin and the layer of fat. In this position, start cutting slices from the punta and the hock, as this is the closest to the bone. Then continue through the contramaza area. In this area, cut the ham so that the line of cut stays parallel to the maza area. When you reach a depth of around 10 centimeters, position the ham sideways to cut all the remaining meat at an angle. Continue cutting slices until you reach the bone, getting the maximum out of your ham. The ham that remains between the bones can be cut into large cubes and is perfect for tapas.